Welcome to Jethro's Garage. Been busy today. Got my old tractor out there. Moved a vehicle that I'm planning on using as yard art. Up to the front, it's a Willis Jeep. Willis Jeep pickup truck. Whatever you want to call it. I'll go show you. Poor tractor struggled though. It's uh, really not capable of picking up the much weight. I couldn't get it off the ground enough to get a tire under it, but I moved this up here. Made a little bit of mess while I was at it. it it'll look pretty good when I get everything finished. I'm gonna prop that front passenger side up on a big rock. If I can figure out how to pick it up. I got some stuff around here I'll be able to. But anyway, pick it up, clean it up, put me some uh, some type of uh, protecting on it to keep it from rusting further. Build me a little bed on it. And then do some landscaping around it. I got a bunch of those pebbles. and Once I get all the landscaping done close to it, I'll probably scrape all that gravel up and spread it but spread it out on my little drive here i need to take and uh run the box blade back over it anyway to, to clean this mess up i don't want to get in here too much because this is hard this is solid i put what we call three eighths minus down and it has Lasted through a few uh, different rainstorms and it's nice and solid now. Anyway, uh, that's not really what I wanted to talk about. I mean, that's that's a whole nother video. I guess I could make it talking about, you know, laying a good foundation for your driveway, your roadbed or whatever. Um, and if y'all want to see that, let me know and I'll talk a little bit about that. Certainly not the, the biggest expert on it, but uh, I drive a truck delivering gravel and uh, I seem to see what works and what doesn't work. Worked on a few uh, parking lot, you know, refurbishes with gravel and stuff like that. So got to work with it a little bit. But anyway, wanted to talk a little bit about uh, lights. I have got a few lights. Um, I, heck, I don't even know what I was using before I got these brown uh, Harbor Freight lights. Uh, I'm sure I've got some around here, you know, uh, halogen lights that come on a stand and different things like that, handheld flashlights. And I've still got some of that stuff, but when I first bought this right here, I uh, actually bought two of them pretty close together. And I tell you that they work great. These brawn wasn't the most, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're, they're not the most durable. This one has got a short in it, but it's working pretty well. I think I've had it for, oh Lord, since I probably bought this within a few months of them coming out. And I bought, I've actually bought five of them total of this. I've got two of them. I think I gave one to my dad or my brother or maybe one to each. I can't remember for sure. And a, a friend of mine come over and did some work for me and you know, I paid him, but I also gave him one of these. And here I'm just waving around like it's some sword. But no, it's come in handy for me. It's worked well. It's about 29 bucks. I think it's supposed to be um, 800 lumens or something like that. But they don't have these on the website, on the Harbor Freight website anymore. They've got a three-in-one, and it's like 29.99, and it's supposed to be 800 lumens as well. Um, 
I've also got this. It's called the nightstick. I don't use it quite as much, uh, but it does come in handy and I use it as a regular flashlight too. Um, main reason I'll use this is because it has a uh, magnet here and a magnet here. It just doesn't seem to work out where I can put it wherever I want to and stick it. Uh, that being said, these have a magnet on the end and you can stick them and then move it around so that you can put your light where you need it. So if I stuck it up underneath the car body, I could position the light to where I needed it. Uh, I've also got this and I've already talked about it. I bought this a few weeks ago, maybe a, yeah, a few months ago, shoot, back in the summer. And I've used it a pretty good bit since I got it and I really like this. Um, it seems to last for a little bit. It doesn't last for a, a ton of time, it doesn't feel like. I haven't timed them. I just, I just know that, you know, they start running down about the time I, I'm ready for them. I got a few others in there that, that ain't worth a flip. And, but also uh, I was looking today in the Icon that's like this brawn here. It's on sale for $24.99. Don't know how long that's gonna last. I think it's a pretty good price. It looks like it's a quality product. Have no experience with it. You do with that what you want. Uh, but if you've been looking for it, um, then you need to pick it up. The one I really want to talk about today is this Streamlight Stinger. Um, it's a Stinger switchblade. I like it. I, I purchased it, it was on sale. It's like 70, let me see. I got it wrote down here, 78.96. 7.2 7 inch light, uh, 800 lumen. Um, it comes with a wall mount charger, AC charger plus USB charger. Um, it feels quality made. It's got some pretty doggone strong magnets on the bottom, plus a hanger so you can hang it up there. I hope I got that in the foot shot. But I tell you, it's a, it's a nice light. It's, a, it's nice feeling. Um, I don't know how it compares to Astro Pneumatic. And I'm telling you, I don't know that I want to go buy in a bunch of different lights to test them. Um, really, you know, I like finding stuff that I like and I know works and telling you about it. Um, there, there might be other stuff that does the same doggone thing that it does just as good. But, you know, I can't really tell you about those. Um, this one though is nice. And it's, this base is aluminum. Uh, this part here is aluminum. Uh, there's some of it, some hard plastic, but man, it's real nice. And it has three functions. It's got a regular light, a regular white light uh, that's 800 lumens. It's got true color light, which is good for body work. Man, you, I used it and I was trying to see the difference between it and the other on my car and the uh, true color light, man, it really shows the imperfections in paint. I already knew there were scratches all over my old station wagon over there, but I did just didn't realize how bad it was. And this right here will really pop them out. And the other it has a UV light for leak detection. And that, that's a pretty awesome fe feature, especially if you're, you're doing a lot of AC stuff and just different things like that really come in handy. Uh, I tell you, I, I just like it. It feels like a quality piece of uh, piece of equipment. And as far as I understand, it's got a lifetime warranty and you can't beat that. Um, I don't know if the batteries are changeable or not. I think you can buy batteries for this, for these brawn, but I haven't had to buy batteries for them and I don't expect to have to buy batteries for this i mean it, you know it's it's a pretty good piece and like i says it feels quality I, like i said it feels quality and it's uh i mean it's got some heft to it as well i think it's a little over a pound um but anyway that's all on that 
Uh, I'll put some links down to it in the description. Uh, Y'all check it out. Hey, buy it if, if you want a good quality light. If not, I'm sure there's others. There's the Astro that, that was one of the early adopters of this, this whole wand style light. Um, and like I said, these, these brown are good. Uh, I, if you can, that three in one, maybe get it. If you decide to go a cheaper router, catch that icon before it goes off sale. That would be the one I would choose if I'm gonna go that cheaper route. Um, other than that, hey, I'm gonna to try to work on uh, being a little more steady. Had some issues the past few months. Um, I'm still dealing with, but I'm gonna to try to work through that. I've got a bunch of videos that I've taken. I gotta edit, maybe add some stuff in that maybe I forgot that will make the video not worth a flip if I don't add it. But, uh, and there's a lot I need to show you in my shop, man. It's, there's a, there's a lot that I've done that I haven't showed the progression on. And I'd like to get that out to you. Hey, thank you for watching. If you like it, hit that like button. Subscribe, tell your friends about it. Hey, we're going to grow here. We're going to get up to that thousand people mark. And I'm going to be doing some giveaways here soon. And... But other than that, hey, y'all take care. Again, I appreciate y'all watching. Good night.